Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Hermitcraft server with a goat. Me. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Um, did you ever wonder, by the way, how I time my intro uh, so perfectly? No? Yes? Well, actually, I always sing along with the intro song. I go like, you know, I start the replay mode. And then, you know, go like... Ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. And then I you know, sing along, and then I know exactly. Hey, cup. <laughs> what you doing? Well, I'm back. <laughs> hey man, I was just. I was. Uh, huh? I, I, I'm cataloging all the cards so that uh, the the uh, yeah the pyramid has all the updated catalog. I was just sharing time. the secrets of video production, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, I heard you singing. It yeah, was, it was very delightful, man. Very delightful. Thank I'll you. leave you to it. I'll leave you to no, it. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I wanted to look at the cards, anyways. That's the start of the episode. So yeah, why not with Cub? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So uh, let's go for it. There's yeah, there's a new expansion pack, the amazingly successful TCG IRL pre-order Bonanza is over now, bro. I can't wait to sign the cards. You're gonna sign some too, right? I'm signing. I'm oh, signing. baby. So, yeah, uh, Beef made a ton of new cards, though. Where are they? Ah, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Oh, man. Is there any new meta emerging already, Cub? You, you had a chance to play uh, a few games already. Yes. There oh. is a Renbob Sniper meta that is emerging. Renbob Sniper meta. He has yeah, combining... hyperspace. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A hyperspace attack with this Ender Pearl is a very deadly combination. Okay, what does it do? Let me check it out. So Beef made like dude, the game got way more complex. I looked at it a little bit already. It's so cool. So move your active hermit and any attached cards to an open slot on your board. Okay, so you move Ren around, and then what you do? What can he do? Damage is dealt to opponent directly opposite of... Ah, okay, okay, that's interesting. So sniping damaged hermits with Ren and being moving him around. Oh, he's tanky boy mm -hmm. too. It's really yeah, hando. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the goat father. What do I see here? Prankster, yes. I, I have to confess, I, you know, whined a bit <laughs> <laughs> to beef because Mambo got, you know taken out of the tournament and then said okay then at least give me another cool prankster card and make it the goat father and he actually did which is amazing okay yeah and yeah. will drop ability oh man this makes me so happy it's it's cool it's cool uh, all right let's check it out flip a coin if heads do additional 30 hp yes a damage dealer that's what i needed for the prankster damage your opponent's active hermit and to each hermit below so now we're talking um, two-dimensional gameplay guys some of the new hermits and we will learn more about them um, <laughs> evil x all the alter egos pretty much hell's night the jingler man <laughs> yeah the jingler who's that great. i wonder i've jingled that, people right? already it's great yeah uh, oh oh and scar hot guy velocity what does that do i assume a lot of that damage. is a highly sought after card our people are already exchanging in the tcg uh, exchange area for uh, that card so. when used with the bow effect card the bow card does double damage to the oh, okay that's of course very very good yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. man so yeah uh, some new rules are that for example, uh, certain attacks count only on certain lanes. And for example, here the anvil is also interesting. I saw that. That is really cool. I love that anvils are introduced now. It has uh, mm -hmm. 30 HP damage, so an additional damage dealer. But also all the hermits below. That means, you know, if your hermit sits on top lane and then you damage over. So every if I attack beat-ups, beef also gets dinged a little bit from the anvil. And there's several mm -hmm. synergies like that now. We will learn a b more about that um, as we play along. I need to pull some cards today as well. Um, yeah, because, yeah, the new edition open some is packs. Out. It's yeah. back. The shop's back open. It's a oh, glorious yeah, day. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, man. It's so cool. Hey, what does Potato Boy do? <laughs> um, peace and love. Heal Hermit directly above and below. See, yeah, that's another one uh, uh, of those effects that is lane 
lane, uh, how do you call that even? Over lane reach, arcing, reaching? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it, it affects adjacent hermits, not yeah. just the active hermit. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a, that's Oh man, it's for turtle decks. It's pretty interesting. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Is there mm -hmm. any new ultra rares yet? Not yet, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a... a I think <sighs> the armor stand behind you is one. Okay. That's a pretty powerful one. It's like a quasi-hermit, if you take a look at the, the card. Oh, okay. So pretty much a, a 50 HP hermit that cannot attack, but can... can. Oh, man, that's interesting. What does command block do? What? <laughs> yeah, that one's super powerful. People are going to make some wild decks with that one, Doc, for sure. Uh, attached to any active AFK hermit, items attached to his hermits become any type. Oh, Okay, so you can pretty much if you if you have mixed decks, you could. Okay, this card can. Okay, so it's it's to pretty much if you don't have the fitting item cards, you can. It doesn't matter pretty much. Right. 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 Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. What are the new books? Thorns. Okay, damage. Okay, and you get damage when you attack. Sweeping edge. What is that? It also seems interesting. Opponent must discard any effect cards attached to the active hermit and adjacent hermits. Ooh, okay. So you can take three <laughs> armors away in one play, pretty much. It's it's so wow. wild, now, dude. Like I've I've played like only a few matches, and dude. already like there's there's been some wild plays that have happened. Dude, the meta is great. You know, beef stepped it up a notch, man. Those cards, like we have a base game now, but with those cards, things get spicy, man. It's like a whole new game. Yeah. Oh, man, that's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to play, man. Yeah, man. Dude, yeah, definitely. Got to pull For some sure. decks. But before, I need to go mm -hmm. and haunt Scar today. <laughs> 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 got to unleash the skulls on Scarland, man. It's going to be epic. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You told me about this. This is going to be an awesome thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, um, where was the portal, man? Did you know? This, ah, this it's way. over there. This it's way. over there. Yeah. Man, Beef's been grinding it out. He hammered out these cards in no time, man. He what did a really good job. Heck? Those cards are not easy to make. I no. made one, yeah, one Pharaoh card, and already like that was like enough for me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm I'm stopping at this one. <laughs> you know, I was contemplating to make fake cards, right? Like, oh just yeah, to, yeah. To flood the market with fake cards and maybe you know, flee some other hermits if they're thinking it's the yeah, new yeah, epic. Yeah, for but, sure, for sure. But making the map is really a grind, dude. <laughs> Uh, hey, if you if if you need a boost, I got a golden card out there that you can like it's already locked and stuff, so you can just oh. use that template hmm. and just fill in the main part and the attacks. Hmm. Saves a bunch of time. Yeah, man, that would actually. Hmm. Okay, we can share the profits then, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 perfect. perfect. <laughs> we fleece Eso. You know, he's washed up. <laughs> he will fall. Yeah, for he it. won't. He won't know. He no, won't know. he won't know. Yeah. He's not into the game at all. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That intro went unexpected, but nice to hang out with Cup a little bit. Um, hey, but we can't forget. Thumbnail of the week. Amazing fan art piece of the week by the Playgrad. Check it out. <laughs> Me riding on the dragon. And I can highly suggest, actually, click on the link in the video description where I link to the original piece over there on Twitter. And, um, you know, click on it and, you know, scale it up. Look at it. Um, it has amazing details, shadows, and has just a, a very, 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 very beautiful piece. Definitely worth looking at it in detail every time, you know, we have one of these amazing fan art pieces. So thank you so much. The Plague Red support our artists. Make sure to follow them on the Twitters and wherever they um, post their art. And, yeah, I'm on my way now. Over to the shopping district, of course, and yeah, towards TCG shop. I've got like 47 <laughs> tokens <laughs> I saved up from the, all the games I've been playing, and um, it's shopping time, baby. Uh, I also got one pack when the TCG World Championship Finals happened. Spoiler alert now, uh, skip the next five seconds if you don't want to know who won, but Ether won. And um, yeah, all the attendants got one of these packs. So yeah, let's unbox it. I haven't looked at it, but yeah, obviously we saw it was Cleo. Um, human Cleo, rare. 
Flip a coin twice. If both are heads, your opponent must attack one of their own AFK hermits on the next turn. <laughs> opponent must have necessary item cards attached to execute an attack. Oh, okay. So, yeah. You cannot just say attack now. Yeah, obviously you only want to use it if the opponent is charged. That just means, you know, you want to have item, item cards. Okay, I brought a Schalke box. Where we want to put the new stuff we can pull. Um, we also got a fire charge. Discard one attached item or effect card from your active ORF camera. You can use another single use effect card this turn. Ah, okay, if you want to re-gear pretty much. Interesting, interesting. Five TCG tokens each. Okay, I say let's buy three packs for now. One, two, three. Okay, that means 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, here we go. Let's pull. Oh, okay, there's more in there. Ooh, okay, let's have a looky looky. Two times the hot guy. When used with bow effect card, the bow card. That is amazing. That was a great pull. That is a very strong card. That is something, you know, people be looking for hot guy already. Uh, yeah, that's good. Cool. And ultra rare letter. Oh man, we're pulling. Before attacking, swap your active hermit card with one of your adjacent AFK hermits. Oh, okay. So that means you have one hermit that is fully charged. Let's say has the three items there already. And you have another hermit sitting below. And it is not charged. You Now you can switch the hermits out and get the new hermit fully loaded and attack. That is very good. Lightning rod. Attached to any of your active or AFK hermits. Okay, All damage done to your uh, opponent's next turn is taken by the hermit this card is attached to. Okay, so you can dedicate a tank pretty much. Potion of weakness. Opponent's active hermits are weak to your active... Oh, that's also interesting. And a terraform item. Interesting, but that's very good. Okay, let's pull more. And here. Okay, let's do this one first. Ta-da! Okay, let's see. What did we get? Beetle. <laughs> Just. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a prankster card, though. That's good. We're we looking for prankster cards? No, it's not. Okay. Ah, yeah. Speedrunner, of course. And we pulled Paltry Man. Yes! There we go. That's the prankster. Okay, that's a common prankster card. Nice, nice. If you want to build a full prankster deck. Okay, what else did we get? Another potion of weakness. A ender pearl. Move your active hermit and any attached cards to an open slot on your board. Okay, this is to counter the lane attacks and so on. Okay, that's good. Oh, and that's the chainmail armor. Prevents all effect damage. Nice. Man, we're pulling decently here. We're pulling decently here. And an explorer item. Okay. Now let's do this. Kra. Oh, man, we're pulling. Oh! Okay, Renbob, nice. Damage is dealt to the opponent directly opposite this card on the game board. Okay, so you can use them to snipe. Trident, at um, 30 HP damage to the end of your turn. Flip a coin if heads, this card is returned to your hand. Okay, that's interesting. Llama dead. Strength none. Flip a coin if Matilda does an additional 40 HP damage. Ooh, okay, that's a nice damage card for the balance deck. Yeah, I felt that was missing a bit for the balance deck. A nice damage dealer. And then two anvils. <laughs> nice. Okay. Man, we're pulling. I feel we'll, we'll, we're having like extreme good pulls. Like, let's, let's... Wait, is there... 
Is Adis also restocked? Probably. But yeah, I want to focus on the on the new items for now. And then we'll see. Maybe we can use some of the you know, new items to also trade some of the stuff we're still missing. I mean, we're still missing books. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's pull two more packs here for now. So, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one and two. Nice. All right. Man, oh, it's been a while since we've been pulling frantically, but stuff is happening. All right, another pol poultry man, another common prankster there. That's nice. Ladder, another ladder. Oh crap! Oh, I boxed this one too. Okay then. <laughs> uh, okay, let's look at the item. Prankster item. That's all right. Another ladder. So we got two of them now. That's nice. And two chainmail. Three pistons. Move one of your attached item cards to an adjacent. Ah, okay, that's also interesting. Interesting. Another llama dead. So we got two of them now. Renbob. Nice. Hyperspace. Yeah, that's a good, good old card. Yep. That's good. So we got two hot guys and, uh, and two Ren Bobs. Nice. It's Explorer. Explorer. Ooh. That feels really interesting to build build around those. What is... Oh, Hell's Knight. Okay. Okay. So you can... That's also interesting. If opponent uses the single-use effect card on their next turn, they must flip a coin. If heads, you take the card after its effect is applied and add it to your hand. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. And then, yeah, poultry man again. Oh, man. Oh, I want to pull again. <laughs> oh, should we do two more? Come on. <laughs> I've been saving for so long. So uh, that should be it. Yeah, 12. All right. Oh, man. The TCG addiction is coming back. I can feel it creeping in. Okay, so we pulled how many packs? Six, seven, eight packs in total. All right, let's have a look. Thorns three. Interesting. That's pretty interesting. I mean, it's ultra rare. Thirty HP damage. That's pretty interesting. You know, you can't. Okay, three llama deads. I see. I'm pulling llama. That's chainmail armor on top. Another speed runner. Potion of Weakness and the Thorns book. Okay, let's put that in here. Nice. It was also a good pull. Okay. And let's look at this. Ooh! Command block. Attached to any active or AFK hermits. Yep, yep. That's good. That's very interesting. You know, it opens a combo of like putting one hermit into your deck that is, let's say you play prankster, right? And you want this one very strong whatever other type. In combo with command block, of course, that would be very interesting, right? Because, yeah, then you can play any other hermit. And then two more is this. Okay, we get Lama dead again. And then the, com the target block. Choose one of your opponent's AFK Hermits to take all damage done during this turn. Oh! This is, of course, also interesting. Wow, the game just got so much like deeper. Wow. Man. <laughs> Man. This will be crazy, but I feel we, we already got a halfway decent selection of the new types and cards. I don't know, we don't have anything yet, and I want to maybe hold on to some tokens. Maybe we also want to, you know, we need to buy some some items or so. 
um, if we build a new deck now. I'll definitely look into deck building and try to improve our deck. Um, and yeah, these are the three we have here already. Okay, so nice. Um, yeah, let's uh, grab that all up. And then we actually should start working on our project today. Um, yeah, we actually want to transport skulls into Scarland. And um, oh yeah, I think I could return these and also get a little bit of an extra card. Let me see. The Wither Cage has been running for a few days now. And uh, yeah, no issues so far. All looking good. Let's have a peek. Our skulls are just f nicely lined up. Schalke is still there. We got villagers there. Okay. Yeah, I feel confident now to load two more Witters in there. And um, yeah, we just see how it goes. Uh, it's definitely exciting every time you do it. Because yeah, it is just a bit of a scary thing. <laughs> to deal with Witters. But... Supposedly, hermits here don't give much uh, thought about playing with widows. Um, I saw Tango and uh, the Mad Lads found uh, some some cave somewhere and just released 60 witters, you know, and they call me crazy. It's okay, I get it. It's far off, so you know, here it's a little bit more dangerous. We gotta be a bit more careful. But you know, I go all through all these safety percussions uh, or preparations. Percussions? No, I'm not playing the bongos now. <laughs> you know, all this safety protocol and all, and they just released 60, and people call me crazy. I was, uh, that's upsetting. <laughs> okay, uh, let me quickly check. Um, oops, let's get in there. Still makes me nervous to approach this thing. Do we still have skulls? Yeah, enough for two more. Perfect. So we do this. Okay. Cool. And now comes the exciting moment uh, when we spawn another one in. Alright. Um, no, not this button. Here. Kalala. Okay. There it is, and it will be pushed up, and boom, explosion shielded, nothing broke, and we have two Witters in there now, and all their, both of them skulls are lined up nicely. <laughs> it has started, Cop says. Oh yeah, there were some questions about um, those guys here, those skull destroyers. So um, I mentioned before, right, we have two different skulls, the blue ones and here those black skulls. Those black skulls have not such a huge blast damage, they are not the evil ones, the blue ones destroy pretty much anything. Those, um, if you have a block that have a halfway decent blast resistance, like here, the deep slate, it's good enough, um, you know, that they won't blow up anything here when they hit. But what could happen, and that is why there is this intricate designs of stairs and angles and corners and small tight spaces, what could happen is if you have, let's say, 50 witters in there, right, there will be lots, lots, lots um, of skulls flying around. And the problem is um, they can explode and the explosions when they hit something of those skulls can actually accelerate other skulls into a uh, direction and uh, that would hit something else again and that could actually create some cascading effect that reaches all the way back and we have skulls flying all over the place. It's like a you know nuclear reactor getting out of control <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, we got two in there and I'd say... Um, we do another one, and then we run with three for a while and turn on the farm and see if that all works. Um, and off one more time, because, yeah, turning on and off, there's always a chance maybe something could go wrong, but I'm, yeah, really, really, I'm trusting the design by now. Um, it, it seems to be really stable. All right, let's spawn in Witter number three. And that's, of course, already really cool, right? You can add more and more Witters to a Witter cage without being stressed out. It's just fully automatic. Boom. Explosion shielded. Boats, of course, still in place. Okay, that is... Whoa. Okay, the Witter will not go for this guy, so it won't matter. 
But I think the guy came out of... We didn't break, lose a boat now, right? Oh my god, that just gave me borderline a heart attack. Seeing this... He, he came out of the portal. Oh, yo, that stressed me out slightly. <laughs> I saw the boat broke. Okay, but that's all right. This guy will then just simply despawn when we fly away. And that's the first test we can actually do now. You know, we fly away, unload the farm, and reload the farm. How's the dragon doing? <laughs> there was a nice metal scene last time. Ah, there he is. Okay, okay. Pretty good position. Uh, means Scar was not on so much uh, over the past few days, uh, I suppose, <laughs> because yeah, normally I can always tell when there's lots of traffic close to the perimeter, <laughs> the dragon moves. All right, um, we are approaching the setup again. And uh, let's see. Yeah, all fine. No skulls offline. That is good. Okay, and the piglin is also gone, which stressed me out a little bit. Now, let's actually switch the farm on and see if we can produce a bunch of skulls. Okay, here we go. Here comes the shulker. We turned around nicely. Good lining. Okay. Shulker is inside the three witters now. And here comes our... <laughs> Our skulls. Nice. Okay. Now we're producing a decent amount. Now we can actually start working with the skulls. Uh, but first, turn this bad boy off again. Okay. See if the shulker teleports out quickly. There, they, there it goes. Gets picked up. And we're turning around again. And this is looking very good. Yep. Okay, we have a stable situation. Stable Witter Reactor with three Witters now. Nice. All right, we're under the Witter Reactor at the moment. And yeah, I have this iron bar here. And this is where we're going to get our skulls out of the system. The iron bar is in place that no bat can fly in here. So we will manage to get the skull through this small hole here but the bad can't go in because bats are our enemies like you know if we switch this on and a random bat flies around in there and the wither targets wrong target we are in trouble town and yeah when we get the skulls out we will flush him over using water streams like this here and then bring him up um, in a water tube back there but to ensure the skulls are moving along properly I can show you a nice trick you can use uh, generally for all item transportation um, with water streams because you know the, the power of water kind of fizz fizzles out right here it has the strongest push and then eventually it gets weaker and weaker and weaker and slower and slower as you can see right and if you have item shoots like that and um, you want to have items gap uh, or jump over gaps or move faster you can use a simple trick use mangrove root or leaves or any other waterlogged block and then you do this and now you can see um, the water stream is like extending but we still have the correct uh, direction and uh, this water stream here is extremely powerful as a source block so you can accelerate things moving along water streams small improvements but actually here for us moving the skulls around we actually do need it so the skulls can uh, bridge these gaps here when we flush them along so yeah, I'll set that up um, all the way here, as you can see, right, how the behavior of the water changes. And yeah, inside, um, we're just uh, going into a tunnel here, and you can see I have my waterlocked mangrove roots all the way. And then there's a bubble column going up, um, so this is how we transport the skulls. Right here, we have a waterlocked stairs to create some draft for the skulls, and um, yeah, that helps us. I lined them up um, but while I was digging around here look at that I actually discovered this there is two spider spawners here perfectly lined up maybe that that'll come in handy at some point and we can use that never really saw that <laughs> yeah the perimeter walls are too vast I was looking for a string 
Oh, cobweb, there was plenty here. And there's actually... Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> there's another one... Was back here. Somebody explored there. Okay. But that's crazy. There's a double cave spawner right here at the edge. Yeah, maybe that will come in handy. I mean, you know, if the skull invasion of Skarland is enough, we can... <laughs> Probably use the same system here to transport some spiders over the scar. <laughs> oh man. Okay, um, yeah, I'll keep doing here a little bit. We need a tiny bit of redstone in here to divert the skulls downwards, but that should be fairly simple. And um, yeah, then we can give it a whirl, hopefully. Just need one flying machine pretty much to fly all the skulls over to scar then. All right, I installed the redstone we need. Nothing big here. Pretty much at the moment when we have skulls flying, right, they get destroyed here. And um, yeah, now we don't want to do that. So yeah, we can just pull this a target block out of the way. And now if we collect skulls, you can see one skull is sitting there, right? They will come through here and stop exactly below here. Measure that out beforehand. Then we have this pusher, we can press and send them down into our water streams. So, um, yeah, let's collect um, one pack of skulls. Because, yeah, we have to think about it as packs now, right? There is plenty of skullness around. <laughs> if you have three, uh, three witters in there shooting, right? So, let me quickly... I need some rockets so we can keep, tr keep track of everything. Where is... Ah, got the fly box on me. Good, good, good. Let me get some rockets out. And then we can test it, send the skull on its way. So first thing we need to do is we need to turn on the machine that we... So we actually generate skulls. And yeah, let's do this. And then let's go over there. Okay, and watch the things happen. Okay. We activated the Schalker again. Schalker is in and... Oh, yeah. The first skull already came over. That was the one that was stored in there already. Okay. Now we're gonna get some more skulls. Okay, we don't want to do too many. But they all should fly over here and stop there. Okay. Let's go. Whoop. Back to here. Maybe I need a walkway between these two areas. And turn off the setup again. We don't need so many skulls for now. But yeah, it seems to be working fine. The skull, skulls are all perfectly lined up together. They're all at the same position. Okay. Yeah. Eventually, when the farm shuts off again, skulls will stop flying towards us. Okay. And we get good alignment again while turning off. That's always important to see. Okay, and we should probably activate the Skull Destroyer. That is, um, yeah, probably a good idea, just in case. But nothing nothing can happen. I mean, if you don't destroy the Skulls, they will just float on and sit there, right? Okay, but yeah, let's turn that back on again. And then you see Piston Extends, right? We have the Target Block combo again. Those Skulls can destroy things. I don't... <laughs> They are not like TNT, but, uh, you know, they can destroy stuff. Okay, now we aim for the skull pusher here. And I just hit that, and we should be able to send the skulls down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And now they're in the water channel here. And, um, yeah, we can wash them over and send them on their way through the system. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, we're handling with the skulls here uh, in a f very controlled way. It, it feels wrong on so many levels, but also right on so many levels. <laughs> uh, okay, so one thing we can never do, though, we never want to unload the farm here when it's in on mode, right? When it's producing skulls for us to harvest, then it can break. So we, you know, hopefully... I never crash when I'm running it or something like that. And I'm just not stupid flying away. Okay, now for sure it is off. We don't need to be scared. And yeah, we have the skulls down there now. And what do we do with them? Well, um, <laughs> they're all facing downward now. What is the... 
Huh, that's how they look from below. Interesting. Anyways, um, yeah, they are here now. And the water flushing them over here was removed with this dispenser uh, bucket combo. Reason for that is... Um, when we have the water in here, water slows down skulls uh, quite a bit. And therefore, when they come down from over here, they were not uh, aligned nicely. So we had this idea to put in the water later. And now we can actually send the skulls on a journey. <laughs> yeah, and here they go. <laughs> oh, man. And you can see, right, they barely make it. Uh, the momentum of the skulls runs out but uh, as we have the special water configuration here um, you know stuff is moving along we could for example also throw an item in here now right it would also make it over the gaps there because it quickly bounces up without ice so yeah that's pretty useful uh, but yeah the skulls will make it through here now and uh, it seems to work just fine <laughs> it looks crazy when they move in water with the crazy burst of bubbles they pull behind them and yeah, now we're going, whoops, inside, inside the walls here. Eee, don't die now. Okay, just want to stand here and chase the, the skulls. Here they are. Probably should eat something in the meantime. Okay. So we heal up. Yeah, the skulls. And here is then the bubble elevator. Yeah, here the, the item I threw in overshot because the water stream keeps on pulling here a little bit. But for the skulls, it's all right. And then they make it into the bubble elevator and whee! <laughs> up they go. Wait, oh, there's another dungeon. <laughs> All right, then. Um, okay, up, 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 up. And yeah, make it to, to up there. And yeah, let's go there and uh, check it out. All right. <laughs> we got the skulls up here. Um, yeah, you can... There's a bee. Hello! Yes, come home. The ghast is nowhere to be seen. I saw him this morning when I logged on. Um, but I think it flew this way a little bit. But yeah, anyways. Now we have a, a pack of skulls here. And yeah, we can uh, start transporting in. And yeah, there was a reason. Of course, we brought the skulls to here. Because when we look... Ew, it's a nice straight shot right towards main square of Skarland. So <laughs> now um, I quickly want to show you something um, that is, you know, I'm not expecting Scar to have the time to watch the whole episode, so we pack it somewhere in the middle. But of course, you know, there is a way to get rid of the skulls again. You cannot punch them. You can literally put blocks inside of them. You know, you, there's no way to just explode them easily. But of course you can get rid of them easily. We would not prank, you know, with something that cannot be reverted in some way. But, you know, it'll probably take them a while to figure out how to. But what you can do is with these skulls, of course, you can always give them momentum. And as soon as they have momentum again, they become, yeah, explosive, <laughs> right? Um, their damage is related to their momentum, their, their movement. Whoop. Okay, let me quickly get back up again. We can put a little piston behind them or so. Right, this is a, a few scars. I don't know how many we've we collected now, but a few. So we can try to get a piston in here. And and then um, we put some slime blocks also, so it gets a little bit more bounce. Um, do we have some slime blocks? Yeah. Okay, Let's see if that reaches. Maybe that is that is fine. And now, um, obviously, you want uh, these, sli uh, these scars to hit a target, so they actually explode, right? So here you could use whatever. Let's see if he can make it that far and then give them some wall they can fly into. And then if you push them now, we can actually destroy them. So let's see. Ha! Bam! <laughs> so if this uh, would have uh, a lower blast resistance, um, yeah, this would be damaged. So I don't know, the purple trees Scar has, he needs to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we have the skulls here now. Theoretically, we could uh, use a giant TNT cannon to shoot them over there. But yeah, I don't want to build another giant TNT cannon. I'd rather build a small flying machine. And we take the skulls we bring up here and fly them really close to Skarland. And from there, we build a small cannon and disperse them all over the place. Yeah. 
All right, I got everything in place and uh, we should be able to move the skulls now. Just gotta turn off the water stream here and then we can collect a bunch. Uh, let's do this, okay, and get up and activate the system. Yes, everything Skull Destroyer is on. Man, this is getting complicated to operate. <laughs> uh, this massive control board. Okay, we're switching over. Let's get to here. Okay, let's see if we get Skull Flow. Okay. So every time you trigger this thing, it is stressful again. Okay. <laughs> we're good again. Okay, now let's collect ourselves some skulls. Uh, skull destroyer off. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh crap, I just realized these are always packs of three. <laughs> Oops. Better turn the Skull Destroyer on. This could be already quite a bit. But hey, you know, whatever we got over there, you know, if we have too many, we can still destroy him on spot. Let's rather get a few more. <laughs> I think this is always packs of three. Let's watch real quick. Yeah, or is it? Hard to tell. Is it always individual ones? I think it's always packs of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. In that case, we surely have enough now. Okay. Skull Destroyer activated. Now we need to turn off the farm. Oh, we can't go too far away. We don't want to do anything stupid. I need a walkway here for sure. Okay. Turn off the farm. Okay. Make sure everything works. Okay, okay, Schalker is moving out. Okay, we're turning again. And we're in stable mode. Whew. Okay, this is just all very exciting still to operate this, this machine, that's for sure. Okay, now we have a lot of skulls up in there. That means we do the skull pusher. Ta-da! Yes, and our skulls are down there now. Good, good, good. Here they are. That's a whole lot. Can we F3 look at entities? I see 129 at the moment. I mean, looking over there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there cannot be anything much below us. So <laughs> It's a bit more than I wanted, but hey, who cares? What we got, we got. Okay, and now it's actually time to flush the skulls up. Here they go. Nice. Pack of 120 skulls coming your way, Scar. <laughs> All right. The skulls are on their way up. Nice. That means we can go up too. Stay with the skulls. <laughs> now, thinking about it, with the new flying machine I built here, I don't really have a seat for me to sit on. Oh, hey, perfect timing. <laughs> yes, here comes our pack of skulls. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to get a slime block and place it in here. So the flying machine is complete. We push that down and we push that over. Nice. So now our skulls are sitting in the corner here on our flying machine and yeah, we should be able to transport them over like that. They should be nicely stuck in there. Okay, before we launch, I'll double check the flying machine. We also need to remove this obsidian here and then we're good to go. And yes, indeed, it's always worth double checking if you mess around with flying machines. Um, this observer here needs to be faced down. So it updates the both pistons here and I had it facing sideways. 
Uh, good we caught that. Wouldn't that have been a catastrophe? The flying machine would just not have taken off. I mean, nothing here is really a catastrophe. We just don't want to waste time and do it over. But yeah, now uh, I'd say we just launch this flying machine and uh, stick with it. So let's do this. Yeah. Ah, always nice to come for a visit to beautiful Scarland. <laughs> and touchdown. I think that looks kind of all right. Yeah. I think we are okay. Cool. Now we just need to add some bits and pieces and um, the fun can start. <laughs> ah, that looks janky. <laughs> just quickly stitch that together. And uh, what is left? Now we need to load some TNT into those dispensers because we're going to use the randomness of TNT to actually randomize the skulls because <laughs> pretty much what we do now is quite ridiculous, right? We uh, <laughs> created perfectly arranged motionless skulls that are all perfectly aligned and now we kind of want to randomize them again. So it's, <laughs> it's quite crazy what we're doing here. Um, anyways, um, yeah, let's just try it and see what happens. Uh, we, we, I mean, let me, let me put a bed here. I don't know. May, maybe we need a little bit more distance here so we don't blow up. <laughs> there's there's got to be some TNT exploding here. All right. I, I, I must confess, this is not 100% tested, but it, it should work. Um, okay. So we have a stack separator here. It will separate out one skull and then launch it over. Let's just try it. Okay. There's one skull going over there. I was just <laughs> asking if Ren maybe was interested in joining. Okay, okay. We should have launched a skull over here now. Where did it go? Did we hit something? Wait. <laughs> Where did that one skull go? <laughs> I missed it. I was reading the chat message. Ren was saying, I was asking if he wants to hang out. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what, what, what did happen? But it looks like the skull separator worked. We we separated one. Okay, let's 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 shoot one more skull. Let's let's observe carefully. Yes. Wait. Wait. Are they what? Are they out of render distance? What happened? Ah, yeah, there they are. <laughs> oh, yo! I was just like, what? Why was the skull vanishing at a skull? All right, all right, that's perfect. Yeah, there's the other one. <laughs> nice. Okay, and yeah, they're starting to be randomized. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's 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 shoot a few more. Okay, that that's that spooked me out for a second, man. Yeah, we can't see them from here. Oh, that's 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 trippy, man. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ah, yeah, that one we can see so, still. So that's a bit shorter. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, I got a, I got a stack of TNT in there. Crap. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's not good, um, that's not, not good at all, crap, <laughs> oh no, what happened, why did it blow up, <laughs> the redstone gets jankier by the minute, that's what you get when you not fully test stuff, uh, but yeah, um, it should be good now. I think it was a yeah, but uh, but it dispenser um, update order issue. 
Um, yeah, now we have like old school hardcore wiring with repeaters and waiting for the TNT. So uh, hopefully this doesn't blow up again anymore. Okay, there's a skull in there. Yes, nice random spread so far. And perfectly centered pretty much over the over the square. Okay, I think now we're good. Let me let me launch some more. <laughs> Please don't blow up again. Yeah, it's looking good now. <laughs> Jeez. All right, two more to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is looking good. And there's a bunch out there we can't see because they're not rendered. So that's a full stack now. A full stack. I think that is enough. We don't want to, you know, uh, we don't want to go insane. <laughs> also, I need to fix this down here before Scar logs on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. With the goat banner in the background, man. Who's king now? Ah. All right. Let's get rid of those skulls. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, well, zero ticking is probably also not a good way to do that. It won't move entities. All right, here we go. I was still too short. Okay, then here. Boom. <laughs> All right. There we go. Dad got rid of him. And uh, this is also how Scar will have to clean up. Uh, the only way is to push him and collide him with something so you get a nice explosion. Uh, he's got to be careful though. <laughs> As they are grouped together closely, the explosions might push the skull, uh, skulls around, so you better, <laughs> better, you know, be smart. But one thing's for sure, um, I need to fix the park here. We blew up some hedges. Thankfully, I think all of this is waterlogged, so the corals, you know, don't die. So that uh, prevented most of the damage. It just took out the entities in a few bushes. And I'm pretty sure hopefully Scar has some more of that stuff around somewhere in his vault. Otherwise, I will have to go to a coral reef and get corals. Which would bug me out quite a bit because, you know, I lost all my corals in the tunnel board that got blown up. And now I have to give him mine. And yeah, ah, here, here we did a little bit more structural damage. But nothing bad. Uh, nothing I shouldn't be able to fix quickly. I'm roaming around in Scar's absolute chaos. He tricked us all. He has chest monsters everywhere. It just looks like he has a proper storage system from the front here with the chests and all. But if you go behind the scenes, it's the utter chaos. It's like, oh my god. Look at all those. <gasps> They're full of things. What is happening? Oh lord. Oh my god. There is utter chaos everywhere oh my god this is i would i would lose my mind this storage system is broken to no avail how on oh my god i'm never gonna find corals anywhere in this absolute chaos <gasps> look at all these minecarts look at all these entities no wonder scarland is the worst leg <laughs> yo oh my lord this is, this is a hopeless cause. What is even going on here? Look at all of this. Oh my god. It's like completely random stuff everywhere. Oh my. Uh, okay, here's TCG. Oh, okay. How does he even... There's a dragon egg here too. Oh, it's like... Is there stuff in the shark? There's oh, 
there's a bit of coral here. But, oh my god, I'm never gonna find... <laughs> Alright, just a few more co corals here and then... That should be it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Activated auto-click. No, and wasted two co corals. Ugh. It's already obnoxious. He ran out of the, the fire corals here, so I had to go to the coral reef and grab some more. But okay. So yeah. Was absolutely minor damage. Um, thank God. That was <laughs> so lucky. Just dropped here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, though. Looking good. Skulls in place. No damage anymore. All traces removed. <laughs> uh, I probably missed this one up there. I still don't know what happened to this guy. Hopefully it's just one. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, look, Daddy. It's so amazing here. Oh, look at that amazing castle. It's the best amusement park I've ever been to. Ah, oh, let's stroll around a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Jelly balloons. Dad, can I have one? Yeah, maybe later, maybe later. We spend already a lot of money. Okay, okay. Oh, look, can we ride a train, Dad? Maybe later, maybe later. We need to get some food. <gasps> Dad, what's that? There's menacing ugly skulls in the sky. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of five stars rating has death skulls in sky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh. You know, but there's one thing here in the park. I definitely like, you know, I saw that in Scar's video. Uh, Cleo made that. Ah, I mean, look at that. Inclusion, my friends. Very important. And this broke Scar's heart, rightfully so. Um, giving memories of himself being confined to the wheelchair and, uh, yeah, being in Disneyland with his parents. And that's why this whole park means a lot to him. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it is not easy to be a villain. All right? It ain't easy to be a villain. I tell you. <laughs> But it's fun. <laughs> but sometimes. Um, one comment I often get, though, by you guys is, by the way, um, quite a lot. You say, hey, you appreciate that I not always cut when I'm going from A to B on the Hermitcraft server because uh, it gives you guys a really good idea where things are in relation because of me flying around with Bobby and you actually see things, right? Scarland, The Rock, um, Bunker Hill, <laughs> and then Zedaf, right? TCG Arena, the first TCG Arena. And then B-Dubs with his crazy meadow he built the other day. And yeah, appreciating other hermit's builds. Uh, oh man, he actually managed to disguise this, the most ugly thing of Season 9. The dolphin speed tube there. <laughs> you know, uh, that transitions nicely in the comment I picked uh, for this week. Um, Yeah, it is by Muffin Man. Thank you so much for your comment. And yeah, I love Do how Doc welcomed 10,000 new subscribers. And the first thing he did was show um, them all other hermit spaces. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yes, indeed, of course. Um, it's important. Um, uh, you know, this goes really, really deep. Um, let me explain to you in short words a complex thing. Um, YouTube and this whole uh, content creation thing is highly competitive, as you can imagine. And the YouTube algorithm is relentless. Uh, if you slack, and uh, by slacking I mean you get sick, or you have a family thing, or you just can't upload for a while for whatever reasons, the algorithm of YouTube will punish you massively. The less you upload, the less the videos end up in the suggested video feed of people. And subscriber feed these days, it doesn't really do the traffic anymore. It is the algorithm when YouTube pushes videos for you to discover and um, yet to watch. But if you cannot upload regularly, if you're burned out, if you're sick, if there's any reason you cannot feed the monster nonstop, your channel will tank and your livelihood will come in danger. So... What we have here on Hermitcraft 
together is a very special thing in that regard. Because if, for example, my child was born, Doki, right, and I needed to take some time off work, um, like as most people do, and um, take care of Doki and the mom and, you know, the whole new situation. I was able to take off three months, which is a huge luxury. Normally, if you do that on YouTube, pretty much kill your channel <laughs> and you start 10 steps back. So you can't afford that. You can't do that normally. But as we have this group here, Hermitcraft, right, the others, while you can take a break, others carry on the torch and keep the server alive and keep on grinding. And we always have up and ups and downs. Some people need breaks somehow. Mambo took a break. Iskial needed a break, for example, or others. Or Ren is in a difficult situation, has to move, and, um, uh, you know, his uh, poor puppy passed away his dog. You know, there's stuff happening in life that prevents you from being able to work. And, um, yeah, as I said, YouTube is extremely punishing for that. But we have this group here. So now, when I had to take a break and was sick, right, I can come back to a lively server, get some nice interactions with other hermits, and people won't forget about me and my channel won't die. And it's a safety net, a small safety net we have built together here on YouTube, supporting each other and taking a bit of the pressure off this content creation involves. And therefore... I'm always, always, always extremely grateful for any other, uh, you know, to any other hermits um, because, you know, because we built this together and this is our small little, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it, our small little safe zone or something, you know, in this crazy, super competitive um, online battle. That's our edge we have, strengths in numbers being strong together. That's it. And therefore, you know, if I see a little bit of hype because of the, the incident, you know, when the tunnel ball bl blows up, I, I like to share that a little bit. And um, maybe uh, when I gain 10,000 new subscribers, maybe some of you haven't seen pearls or impulses built or whatever hermit you pick randomly, right? So, yeah. Um, let's buy ourselves two more TCG packs, right? I've been unboxing a few more. Having some good pu pulls, we'll be talking about that maybe in the next episode a little bit. I'm trying to get a few matches in. Okay, two more packs. We're only buying new stuff at the moment. Okay, let's look. Okay, that's interesting. That's also good. I don't really have much double farm items. Very nice. Oh, and the pearl is also good. Um, that uh, gives in interesting strategies. Command blocks. I pulled like I pulled another pack before, and I got uh, two command blocks at the moment. But I want to pull more, so that is really nice. Okay, what do we have? Let's check this one out as well. Okay, that's also good. Chainmail, uh, prankster item. Uh huh. Uh, oh, oh, is this a hot guy? Hot guy and mambo. Potato Boy and Hot Guy. Nice. Okay. That's interesting. Hot Guy, that is very, very good, actually. That's super cool with the bow. Nice. And then we have Potato Boy as a healer. <laughs> I'm tempted to build a deck with Mambo Attacker and Potato Boy as a healer combo yeah, and, and do some crazy mixes with the uh, command blocks. Um, yeah, you... You might see really crazy decks. What is this, by the way? Huh? <coughs> is this a shop? Is this TCG related? Wait, what? Is this a door? No, this. No, I think this is just a bag, and this maybe it's not finished yet. What is this? Why is there TNT in it? And it's right across the TCG shop and... What? Wait. This thing is running. <gasps> oh no.
Oh. Oh no.